Hello world! In today's video, we'll understand how to connect our MSP430 G2553 microcontroller to our RN4020 Bluetooth Low Energy Module. So, this particular energy low energy module, Bluetooth low energy module, you need to first of all configure this guy. So, I have made a video on this that is like the first part which is like a prerequisite for this particular project. So, do check that out first. So, you can configure it using an FTDI chip and then finally you can connect it to this microcontroller using UART connections and then you can talk over Bluetooth using a Bluetooth low energy application on your Android phone. So, we are going to see a very basic simple application based on this uh, concept and you can try out more advanced stuff like you can try and display temperature value using the internal temperature sensor of your microcontroller and I have already covered a project wherein I have displayed the value on an LCD screen. You can make it a little bit more smarter and use Bluetooth perhaps for that. So there are endless number of possibilities. So yeah, this is just like the basic thing that I'm trying to showcase through this particular project. And so first of all, let's try and understand how these two are connected using UART. So these are the connections that are there. RN4020's WAKE and VCC pins are connected to the VCC of MSP430. And the controller is connected on the launchpad board. And then the launchpad is connected to the computer via the USB. So that's how you're getting the power on the board. So the moment you connect VCC to WAKE pin, the blue LED, which is the WAKE LED on 4020, will turn on. Then you have to connect the ground of G2553 with both the grounds of uh, 4020. Then the UART connections, TX to RX, RX to TX respectively. And then we'll be using P1.0 based red LED of the microcontroller. So what we are going to do is, over the Bluetooth, we are going to test whether we can turn on or off this particular LED. So coming to the point of Bluetooth low energy app, uh, first of all, the link to download that will be in the description below. So do check that. Once you have downloaded it, since the RN4020 is already advertising, you will be able to see it in the list of devices which are available for Bluetooth connection in your application. So you can select RN4020 from that list. The moment the connection is established between the app and 4020, the connection LED, which is the green LED, will start uh, glowing. That is, it will turn on. And uh, the moment connection is established, you will be able to see all the services and characteristics which you had configured uh, in the previous uh, video um, on RN4020. So you'll be able to see all of that. Now, the characteristic which is of importance for us is the one which we had created, the private one. Uh, which accepts like two bytes of data and you can write into it. So we'll be using that. So I'll give you an example as to how this whole thing will work. If you type in say 01 in that field, in that private characteristic, that will be transmitted over the Bluetooth low energy to your RN4020. And then that in turn will be transmitted over the UART to your MSP430. And the code in MSP430 is written in such a way that the moment it receives 1, it will turn on the red LED. And the moment it receives 0 from the app via 4020, it will turn off the LED. Now, there are no restrictions which are put in the code which will decide whether if it re receives like any other value except for 0 and 1, then in that case, what is it supposed to do? Ideally, it is not going to uh, entertain any other values. But uh, when you're writing an application for end user, like the Android application, in that you should restrict the data that you allow. Because over here, it can feed in like 2, 3, 4 and any other values, random values as well. But for the sake of uh, understanding, we'll just assume that we're going to feed only 0 and 1 and not any other value. But when you're creating end user application, you need to take care of this as well. Anyway, so here... The RN4020 along with uh, G2553 is acting like a server and this application is acting like a client. Now, if you want to see a proper model of this, then in that case, the application can ask for some data instead of just, you know, pushing in some data, which is turning on the LED and turning it off. It can ask for, let's say, the status of LED, for example. So in that case, that request will be transferred over Bluetooth to the 4020 and via the UART it will be received by, by G2553 and then the code will be written in such a way that it will transmit probably let's say the status of the LED over TX um, to RX of 4020 and the same will be updated on your 
Bluetooth low energy application. So that will be like a proper model of your client server. So yeah, this is how the connections are made. Now let's have a look at the demonstration. So I hope you found the video useful. So do drop a like in that case. And uh, in the next video, I'll be covering Bluetooth low energy related terminology. So there are many buzzwords which are used like services, characteristics, profile, etc. They can get like really overwhelming for a beginner. So I'll be covering those concepts in a little greater detail in the next video. So make sure you have subscribed to the channel for that. And in any case, if you are like already a subscriber, then please spread the word in like amongst your friends and peers and ask them to subscribe to the channel as well if they are obviously working in the field and uh, with that said i'll see you next time bye world